What's up, YouTube? Sparks Comics here. Time for a new comic book day, and I've got a mail call for you guys. So we're gonna do this all in one video. Stay tuned for that, but first, hit the subscribe button, like the video, drop a comment. Let me know what you think of my new comic book day pickup and what you guys picked up this week for new comic book day. Welcome back everybody. Let's get into the new comic book day pickups first. So first up from Boom Studios, we've got Orcs number one, and I picked up the one in 10 Miguel Mercado variant. Um, this one, I I almost didn't pick up Orcs. I figured if I could get this cover for ratio, um, I would go ahead and read the first issue and see what I think of it. It's a five issue mini series. Uh, I believe it's got some vibes of, uh, some people were saying the Goonies or Lost Boys. So figured I'd give it a shot, uh, but not sure if I'm gonna like it, but I'll drop a review on it maybe and see. Uh, this one was a super exciting one to pick up this week. Space Bastards number two from Humanoids Comics. I really love Space Bastards number one and it got even better in this one. We get a little bit of history of the International um, Postal Service. So pick up Space Bastards if you're not already. Space Bastards is also having a Kickstarter for Volume 2, where you can get Volume 1 and 2 hardcover. So I'm going to try to drop that link below for you guys so you don't miss out on that. It's got about a week left on it. Another one that just blew me away this week, Scarant Hood number four. I got goosebumps reading this, guys. If you haven't read Scarant Hood, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. I need to do a full series review. Uh, at the end of this, they do mention there's going to be a volume two, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, issue one of Scarant Hood, you know, set things up. Issue two, things started happening. Issue three hooked me. Hooked me real good. Issue four just blew everything else out of the water. Uh, Fear Case number one, I picked up the second printing for this one. So uh, I liked, uh, if you saw over on Dream of August Comics, who is in my description, if you scroll down a little bit, they are listed as a friend of the channel. Um, we did a review over on Dream of August Comics for Fear case number one. So go check that out. Um, I like the, the story. There's some other thoughts I had about it that I didn't like. Uh, the art on the inside, the use of question marks in places they didn't belong, um, things like that. So go check out that review over on Dream of August Comics. Scouts Honor number two. If you guys saw my review of Scouts Honor number one, you know my thoughts on this. I like this one. This was still good. Um, so I'm glad I'm still picking that one up. Erratic number three of five. Uh, this series is still, still, still good. Still good, guys. Um, it's from AWA Upshot, so the lesser known publisher. Uh, go check it out. You know, obviously it's got, it's got Spider-Man vibes, uh, you know, guy in high school getting powers, that kind of thing. But uh, it's, it, it doesn't stick to that vibe, right? It's got its own thing, and so go check it out. The Last Witch, number two from Boombox. So that's a, the younger adult audience of Boom Studios. And it's good. Um, I This one, honestly, when I read, before I read issue one, I really wasn't sure if I was going to like the Last Witch, because it did seem, to, you know, targeted for a younger audience, but I absolutely have been enjoying this one. Um, we get a little bit darker in this, so I, I like that. Origins, four of six. I think I told you guys before, I almost dropped this one. Issue three kept me hooked. I'm glad it did. It's getting a little bit better with issue four. Um, we've got six issues total, so two more to go. Um, I really love this world. 
And how can I pass up these seven secrets variants? I didn't go for the full set, but I got the fifth print for issue one and the second print for issue six. So I got the solo Casper cover and the full squad cover. Uh, the ones in between these for issues two, three, four, and five, slowly add on characters between, but uh, this is what I liked. So I stuck with those covers. Uh, I think it would be really cool also to have all of them and display that, you know, see the progression of them being added, but uh, you know, collect what you love, guys. Couldn't pass up, haha, ha, number one, second printing. This is a great cover for this, and I think really shows kind of, you know, what we got going on. It's clowns, right? Clowns, some laughing, some crying, some creepy things going on. It's all in this. Homesick Pilots, issue three of, um, I believe, ongoing. I don't think it's set for a mini series or even a, a maxi series. I think they're 12 issue kind of things going by. Um, I've been enjoying this. It's, I don't think it's, you know, like I, I, I've, I've kind of identified some of my favorite reads this week. I got a couple more, but it's a good solid read. Uh, so I'm sticking with it for now. Maybe I'll see after the first story arc completes what my final thoughts are, uh, but I'm digging it. Radiant Black, number one. Guys, this is, I think, probably the new one of the week to look out for, to pick up, to read. This was a solid story. I'm gonna have to do a full review on it, but uh, I read this one first because I really wanted to know what was going on here, and I'm glad I did. We got I Walk With Monsters, number one, second print, uh, with that X-Men 139 homage. Uh, absolutely killer cover. Definitely gives us a good overview of what's going on in this story, which is some crazy stuff. And then issue three came out this week. And I picked up cover A and cover B because I'm really into this series. And I have to say, uh, it's definitely delivering on what I hoped it would continue to do. We're finding out more about uh, JC's backstory and uh, I'm blanking on the guy's name, but her companion man um, who seems to do dark things. So we're finding out more about both of them and their, their history. And we know what happened to her father now. Uh, we still don't know exactly what happened to her brother, other than that the politician guy is involved. So hopefully we find out more about that in issue four. And um, I can see this being ongoing, but I have a feeling that we're going to get six issues for this series. Um, and it'll conclude in, in that six issues. Star Wars High Republic number one, third printing. Guys, you know the High Republic's hot. You know we've got multiple first appearances in here, including these two. Uh, they're on the cover of other books from first printing, but I think this is a cool, uh, cool one because of her lightsaber being displayed there. I love that, and I love the little, you know, Jedi versus Jedi uh, as part of her training, but super cool. Daredevil number 27 came out this week. Still a killer story. We got second print for ASM 56, which I don't think I'd actually asked for, but it was in my box and I didn't realize it. And then Amazing Spider-Man issue 59 um, and the Masterworks variant for that. Uh, Martin Lee and Mr. Negative um, being separate, but you know that's only gonna last for so long, guys. So. Check this one out. The story has been really good, I feel like, since the Kindred stuff started, since the Sin Eater stuff started. So um, definitely don't sleep on what's going on with Spider-Man right now. Um, and finally, from Behemoth Comics, I picked up A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night. Um, this is the trade paperback version of it, so I can read the whole series, the whole story. Um, I believe it was just an issue one and issue two when it came out in the, the floppies, but figured I'd show some love to Behemoth Comics. I hear really good things about this, so uh, this is why I picked this one up. I haven't read this yet. I'm going to read this probably next, but I have actually read everything else for this week, so 
super excited about what came out this week. Um, I may have to give some of them a reread because there was some good stuff. Uh, my mail call comes from Skeleton Key Comics. And look at this, guys. You know, yeah, this is what I've been waiting for. You know it. Um, every time they send a Skeleton Key. So here is the key this time. I really like that one. It's got wings. Um, yeah, awesome. Thank you, guys. I, I, I love the, the extra touches I've got. Both of the other keys I've gotten from them still sitting around. Um, so this is the third time I've bought from Skeleton Key Comics and their Instagram live sales slash auctions. Um, super well packed. This was all in a medium um, USP mailer. Oh, you know, it might take me a second here to uh, get this unwrapped, but um, uh, Sammy and Tony, I know you guys will probably see this at some point. So thank you guys. Uh, everything you guys have done with your sales has always been uh, positive. It's always been there for the community. Obviously, it's a business for you guys too, but you take care of the people in the community uh, and you don't, you know, you don't try to do anything negative with the sales or make it all about the money. It's, it's also about the people that are buying from you. And that something that a lot of sellers on uh, Instagram, YouTube, you know, don't always do. Let's see, I almost got this open. And you guys have this so secure. Got some Fort Knox packing up in here. There we go. Not only is it super bubble wrap, but it's also packed in two Gemini mailers inside. Let's see if I can get this open. There we go. So I, besides the, the auction slash um, claim sale, bin sale. I had also talked to them about getting some Spider-Man books to help fill in my run. So one of these boxes is probably Spider-Man. One of these is what I claimed. So let's see what we got. And of course, that's how they, Sammy will label all of the boxes for everybody. Um, super secure um, inside of here. And we've got things that are the tabbed, so it's easier to pull the tape off. All right. Let's see, let me get this out. Also, I think the other thing, they, um, the bags and boards that they get, I don't know the specific kinds that they are, but they get them from I want to say it's Kentucky Key Comics. Um, I really like them. Let's see, I think this is going to be the auction stuff. I could be wrong. Maybe it's a mix. I think we got a mix here. Awesome, okay, so this is mostly the Spidey stuff, actually. So let's start, um, actually one thing I picked up because I thought this was super cool and I wouldn't have bought it from the retailer is Punchline number one. The Greg Horn is the minimal variant. Um, you know, based off that meme um, 
with the guy, he's turning around looking at the other girl. Thought that was super funny. Um, so I had to pick that up for that reason. Uh, but to help fill in some of my Spider-Man stuff, we got ASM 207. Um, you know, I, and I, I wasn't looking for any condition on any of these books. I'm just trying to fill in the run and then I'll go for, um, you know, better condition, increase, you know, increase the, the collection that way. But for right now, I'm filling in. Um, so there's 208. Somehow I was missing the low 200s, a lot of them. 209. This is a really cool one. 211, it's got some, Mar some Mariner on it. And then uh, 303, which is uh, super cool. If you look in the bottom corner, uh, Spidey's actually like spelling out 303 with his web. Uh, so that's cool. And then 310. So yeah, that's gonna fill in some of that. And I got another um, Gemini here to open up. Also, whatever tape that they're using on the inside, I'm assuming it's some sort of painter's tape, but it's uh, it's even, I wanna say easier to, to get off. So, I really like that they use that tape because guess what? It doesn't damages doesn't damage the bags inside. <sighs> Something some retailers could learn from. Uh, I'll be honest, some of these I don't remember what I got. Um <laughs> But I think some of this is still the Spidey stuff, and then some of it's what I got from the auction. Which I didn't try to get too much from the auction because of the fact that I had these Spidey books waiting. Um, perfect. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, that's the big one. Okay, I'll save the big one for the end. Um, we got Spider-Man 200, 202, and 203. So this one, this is pretty cool, it's a Punisher cover. Um, that's gonna be uh, a cool one to have. And then 203, is that Dazzler? It looks like Dazzler is uh, making an appearance there. So now I've got 200, 202, 203, 207, 8, 9, and 11. So, you know, just a few in the low 200s that I gotta fill in. Uh, Necromorphous, uh, absolutely love Necromorphous. And I had cover A, but there's cover B right there. I didn't have this one, so I, I claimed it. Um, super cool. Uh, I love that series, so go check that out. It's from Behemoth Comics. And then, New Ages of Atlas, number one, second printing. You know what this is, guys. First team appearance of the New Agents of Atlas. First appearance of Luna Snow, Crescent and Io, Arrow, and Wave. And then um, this right here is Luna Snow. So super cool cover of her. Um, I forget, I think it might be Yoon that does the cover here. So, absolutely love the new Agents of Atlas. I love those characters. Couldn't pass this one up. And then my big book for my Spidey collection, Amazing Spider-Man Annual, number two. Um, first meeting of Spider-Man and Doctor Strange. Um, first appearance of Zandu and the Wand of Watum. So, absolutely, like, super excited. They're like, <laughs> honestly, you know, for a Silver Age book, pretty decent condition. Um, super excited. Thank you, guys. Um, I, you know, next step will be uh, aiming for that annual number one. It's going to be a while to get that, but 
I gotta check off some other Spidey keys first. This is helping with that. All of those books that you guys got me helping with that. So appreciate you guys a lot. Um, if you guys don't follow them already, please go to Instagram, follow at Skeleton Key Comics. And every, I wanna say it's like once a month, they'll do a auction live sale, often with Rage Theo, who I've posted uh, a video of things I've bought from him before. Always such nice people, such good packing. Um, grading is usually spot on, um, if not conservative. So go check them out, hit them up, look for their auctions. I think they've got another one coming up within the next week and a half, maybe. Um, so maybe not this weekend, but the following weekend. So please, please go check them out. Um, and thank you guys for watching this video, this part mail call, part um, uh, new comic book day video. And always remember, guys, collect what you love. See you guys next time.